Compost Mortem is a Golgari sacrifice deck that wrings every ounce of value that it possibly can from having your creatures die. In this deck, death isn't a setback, it's a resource. First, the sacrifice outlets. We have one non-creature sac outlet in Vampiric Rites, which lets you trade a creature to gain a life and draw a card. We also have six creature-based sac outlets, four carrion feeders and two blood-thrown vampires. A playset of Plague Crafters also give us a one-shot sacrifice, as well as eating an opponent's creature. Once we've sacrificed our creatures, we have four unearths and two memorial follies that let us buy them back. After that, every other non-lane card in the deck either functions as superb sack fodder or rewards us in some way or another for having our creatures die. We'll start with the creatures themselves. A playset of Springbloom Druid help us get our lands into play, and then can get sacrificed to be dug out and get us even more lands later. Four Putrid Goblins and a Lone Sanitarium Skeleton are premium reusable Graveyard Father, with three Doom Dissenters actually upgrading themselves when they die. Three Catacomb Sifters give us Eldrazi Scions to sacrifice, and let us scry whenever anything dies. One each of Grim Harispex and Falconrath Noble round out our creatures, respectively drawing us cards and draining our opponent's life whenever we send a creature to the yard. As for non-creatures, we have four singleton enchantments that want us to mulch our creatures. Golgari Germination and Gutter Grime both give us yet more creatures whenever a non-token creature of ours dies. Moldervine Reclamation gives us life and draws us a card. And Olvenwald Mysteries give us both cards and creatures, although we do have to pay a bit of mana to make that happen. With Compost Mortem, death is nothing for you to fear. Your opponents, however, should be terrified. <laughs>